Hey, home groups, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. It was really good to get together with family and friends. And as we bring this weekend of celebration and giving thanks to an end, uh, this morning at church, we're going to be looking at giving thanks uh, and what that entails. And we're looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In every situation, God commands us to give thanks. Uh, it seems a little bit shocking when you first read it. How can we give thanks for everything? But notice he doesn't say for everything. He says in everything. There's things that are going to happen in our life that are really painful, very difficult. But even in those situations, God calls us to give thanks. Because giving thanks is how we worship God. It's how we express the truth that it is His will that matters, not ours. It's praying and saying, God, not my will be done, but yours be done. And I'm thankful for what you're doing in my life. I'm thankful for how you are controlling and guiding and sanctifying me through all the situations and circumstances of life. Giving thanks is also how we live by faith. When we try to control the situation, when we grumble and we complain because we feel like we deserve better than we're getting, what we're doing is saying, God, I don't trust you. I don't trust you to handle this. I don't trust you to, to take care of this. If you loved me, you would do better than this. But when we give thanks, we're saying, God, I trust you. I rely on you. I know you are wiser than I am. I know that you are, uh, you are good. You are just. You love me more than I can possibly fathom. And I trust you. And so as we give thanks, it is acting out our faith. And in every and all situations, we are to give thanks. So we're going to talk about some practical ways to give thanks this morning in, in, in our worship service. But as a home group, I encourage you to discuss that as well. So number one, ask, ask the question, why is it easier to complain than to give thanks? I mean, if we were honest, we all complain regularly throughout the day. But very rarely do we give thanks to God regularly throughout the day. If you were to put them on a scale, the giving of thanks and the, the complaining, the complaining probably weighs far more than the giving of thanks. Why is that? Why is it easier for our hearts to complain than to give thanks? Secondly, how can we cultivate a more thankful heart? What can we do on a regular day-by-day -day basis to cultivate more gratitude in our heart? Because gratitude cultivates contentment. Gratitude cultivates joy. Gratitude cultivates closeness to Jesus. And complaining and bitterness and frustration, they, they break all of that. They destroy joy and they fracture relationships and they cause us to feel distant from God. So how can we cultivate a thankful heart? What are some ways, some practical ways that we can remind ourselves to give thanks? And thirdly and finally, what do we tend to grumble about the most? So what is it that we are most frustrated about and why do we grumble about that? What can we do to give thanks to God in that situation instead? When you're tempted to grumble, or when you find yourself grumbling, stop, repent of that, and give thanks instead. Look for what God is doing in those situations that you're grumbling about, and give Him thanks instead. And you'll be surprised at what God does in your heart. So ask the question, what is it that we grumble about the most, and why? And how can we give thanks instead? I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving season. I hope that your heart is ready for Christmas. It's going to be a great year. May God bless you, home groups.